need no applause. High fashion, I go, y'all. Yeah. G wagon, or the rover. I put some ice on you, cause you got it cold. I know I gotta keep my daughter from the go, go. Got the ass to the floor. What's going on, y'all? What's poppin', baby? Welcome to another Vizio. Welcome, my kings, my queens, and the kings who love us. What's up, y'all? What's going on? This your girl, Candy, guys. You guys are on Queen Game TV. Yeah, y'all, we rocking out today. Happy Sunday, y'all. It's beautiful. It's sunny out, baby. I feel good. That's what's up. I hope you guys are feeling good. I got a little something for y'all today I want to talk about. You know what I'm talking about? Um, again, thank you for all my new subscribers, you guys. Thank you so very much. Yes, guys, we're on the road to 500. And when we do hit 500, we will most definitely be giving out some giveaway and some prizes, you guys. So we're going to work, work, work to make this channel great, guys. But, you know, it takes one hand feeding the other hand, guys. And, um... We're going to do our thing. So, y'all already know, we conversate, we do topics. You, we do a little mug band. We do little vlogs. We do a little summer everything, guys. And we don't get into all the gossip. And, you know, we don't talk about people back and forth. You know, all the chatty patty stuff. But, you know, there's some good channels that do, baby. I'm telling you. But, you know, we just don't do it here. And then, you know what I'm talking about? You know, I know my channel was growing because I'm starting to get a couple little trolls. And I thank y'all so very much. And I just want to let y'all know, let your friends, let your friends know too. Number one, I ain't gonna be going back and forth in the comments. I don't get into things that, <laughs> you know, messes with my vibration. I don't play with those type of things. I really don't care what you say. None of that. Because if I did, I wouldn't be on camera. And even if I wasn't on camera, I still wouldn't have cared. No one cares. Everybody has an opinion. Just like they got assholes. And shit comes out of them. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> we ain't going to spend no time on that. I just don't, you know what I mean? You're not going to get a reaction from me. So it is what it is. Anyway, guys, um, again, let's get into the video I had. Hit like, share, and subscribe, and pull pow. Bing. Hit that subscribe button so you can get all my future videos, guys. Please don't miss out. And please, y'all, keep on liking. Keep on sharing, guys. Keep on viewing, guys, so we can grow and do better things with this channel. Anyway, guys, we're talking about dating in the ATL. And it was interesting, though, because I was doing some uh business with my cousin and um we were talking and uh we got on the subject of dating here in the atl and we both and we a lot of us can agree that dating is in the slums i mean dating is washed up here in the atl in 2024 and because a lot of guys are killing their girlfriends because they've been rejected. Um, there's a lot of guys that's moving here that's on the DL, you know, using women as a beer, but you really doing what you really profess to be. You know what I'm saying? And it's getting a lot of women caught up in between a mess. And then you got guys that think they just to give to all women. They don't want to settle down. They still want to play around. And, and not only that, a lot of people stay in the same type of people. You know what I mean? Or the same type of guys is, you know, dating just the same type of women and whatever. It's just that, you know, the dating game, you know, it, it's just recycled. And um, I just feel like when you come here and you new to this town, don't get caught up. Don't get caught up with, with, with this dating thing because a lot of guys are big liars. A lot of women, you know what I'm saying, be on a Jezebel. But I'm speaking from a hurdle sexual standpoint, you know, with the guys. You know, if you're a woman, like a lot of these guys they aren't willing to 
settle down a lot of the times, especially if they still in the field. Because it's 12 to 1 men here in Atlanta. They in the field. Especially if they knew and they just moved from another town. Oh, you're not getting no no serious situation out of it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it's it's so much to do, too much to do. And it's hard for men to get serious when it's time to get serious. And you'll find that they'll start getting serious when they get up in age. When they, you know, they done, they all washed up, they threw playing games, they threw doing what they doing. But um yeah, me and my cubs, we was like, you know, we gonna have to have to start stepping outside of our race and sometimes you might have to step outside your race you know what i'm saying to get better results you know what i mean i mean it ain't only just black men that like us it's all types of men that like black women and we just have to move on when it comes to finding what we truly want out of life you know what i mean and getting the best fulfillment out of life as best as possible and that means if you're not willing to wait, you don't have to wait on anybody to get their act together or when they all, you know, old and washed up and their best years are behind them. Now they want to settle down when, you know, they all, you know, old broke down and used up and, you know, <laughs> you know, now they looking for a, a, a caregiver and a companion. No. So, I mean, ladies, I wouldn't waste my life and my time on men that are hard to deal with. Men that don't understand what love is, not trying to stop to find what love is, and just setting their own ways, you know. If that's where they want to be, y'all in the booty club and, and chasing a lot of different booties, that's what it is, you know. And I'm not just saying that on on a DL or 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 a man that is, you know, gay. No, I'm not saying that. When I say booty baby, I'm talking about herbosexual too. Period. And that's what I fully meant with that, you know, because I am herbosexual. But in the ACL it's, it's real hard to uh get into a meaningful relationship because of it's so much entertainment. It's the it's so many people willing to do whatever. You get so many women to one man. A man has a lot to choose from. And it's just so hard for him to be serious though. You know, he coming from another town. He might not be used to a lot of women flocking to him. He might not be used to a city full of fine ass women. You know what I'm saying? So he really playing the field. So and then you got guys that's, you know, toxic, not healed, mentally a challenge. And I'm not, not saying as if he's mentally challenged, but it's just a, a challenge to deal with somebody that is broken. You know what I'm saying? Up here is it's hard. And that's why I say it's mentally challenging, you know. You know, it, it just, you want to fight. You don't know what it means to work and provide, be the head of your household. You want to be the female. You want to be, yeah, you want to do the, be the female role, not your, you know, God-given role. You're looking for uh, someone to take care of you, another mother. You know what I'm saying? You want to be one of the kids, and it's just it's just crazy, you know. So, yeah, don't jump into a relationship just to say you're in a relationship and that you got a man, and you want to be a my man, my man, my man. You know what I'm saying? You so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. You want to do that, and you know you just want you know. The pickle, you know what I mean. And but you got a headache and problems, and 
somebody's putting their hands on you. You know, it's just crazy. A relationship does not involve toxicity at all. At all. A man should already know his role upon meeting you. You know what I'm saying? Now, using you for your resources. He's supposed to be there to protect you. To make you feel safe. To honor you, to cherish you. You know what I'm talking about? You are the rib of his life. You know what I'm talking about? And to upgrade you. To upgrade you. No matter what you got, yeah, it, it don't matter what you got, but but on that level, he's supposed to make you glow. So ladies, it's okay to stay single because it gives you time to know what you really want. You know what I'm saying? And to know what to really, you know, go for in life. It's okay to be single. Stay single until... The right person comes along. Know what you want. Don't just pick because, oh, your mother's in your ear, your auntie's in your ear, grandma in your ear, the neighbor's in your ear, this person in your ear about you getting a man. Girl, I'd be ready to say, girl, don't worry about my coochie. I'm good. I'd be ready to say that. Because I'm on a whole different level. On a whole different level. Because being celibate is good though because you have a clear mind and you can look back on your mistakes. You could be a good woman, but you move too fast. You could be a good woman, but you give too much. You could be a good woman, but you're too thirsty. So those are the things, and not all the things, but those are some of the things that could cause you to attract the wrong person and be mistreated. All in the name of wanting a man or a relationship. But anyway, y'all, that is my girl talk. You know what I'm talking about? And yeah, you know who inspired me with these girl talks. That's my girl, Love Your Natural. She inspired me to do those. So yes, please tag her. Uh-huh. That's my girl, baby. I'm definitely one of her girlies. Yes, I be watching her avidly. So anyway, um, ladies and gents, be wary of when you move to Atlanta because the dating game is 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 real crazy and washed up. You know what I'm talking about? It's because it's a new big city or whatever the case may be. It ain't what you think it is, though. It's a lot of games that's being played. Big time here in this in this city. Yeah, and it's real washed up. <laughs> Big time. It's out, it's over, it's it is done. Queen is in the building, y'all. I'm out of here, y'all. Deuces.